Okay. He's yeah. a friend? Yeah, friend. He's a friend of yours. Yeah, well, yeah, it's yeah. good to have powerful friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, to have friends like these. Crystal Wong is connected with a capital C. Wen Jiabao? Hu Jintao? Not only one-on-one -on -one photos with China's President Hu Jintao, but the presumptive president-in-waiting, Xi Jinping. With a little help from her friends, Wong has taken a tech software business started with a big dream and one desk 20 years ago and turned it into a worldwide mini-empire worth hundreds of millions of dollars, creating valuable jobs for young Chinese. He's very kind, yeah. The vice president is a very kind person. I'm a businesswoman and he's a high-ranking official. I should have felt the status gap between us, but I never did. He's such a good listener, paying attention to our ideas and nurturing young entrepreneurs like us. He, he asked that our government needs to do this. Mm. She championed high tech, green industries and food safety. Wang's Newland technology seized its opportunities. Wang got lucky. Her rise mirrored the rise of this young, bright politician, soon to be governor of coastal Fujian province in southern China. Son of a Mao-era revolutionary hero and an architect of China's economic reforms, she is one of the so-called princelings, the manner born of Chinese communism. She married a famous Chinese folk singer. He kept his head down and worked the system. Old China hands say he's been almost invisible and unknowable. We don't know much about him. We don't know what he really thinks. Xie Yingling certainly knows who she is, and the 32-year-old unemployed welder has a message for the man who would be president. I want a job, he says. Our local economy is just bad. I find even a bowl of noodles too expensive here. These people are expecting a lot from Xi Jinping. They want him to make a real difference in their lives. This is Fujian the heartland, and it clearly shows the growing gap between rich and poor in China. This is the China Xi Jinping is going to inherit. In this one small town, China's challenges are laid bare. Crowded streets, pollution, another generation being raised in poverty, left behind by China's economic growth. Xi has left a mark here. As governor, he provided housing for many poor fishing families. But too many others remain crowded in ramshackle slums. This is not what the US politicians see when they raise the China threat, a rich, rising super rival accused of manipulating trade and stealing American jobs and a rising military threat. But analysts say these are the people, the poor and increasingly angry, that Xi Jinping cannot ignore when he sits down with Barack Obama. No, he can't, but one thing you'll see is he's going to have to be tough. I think he's going to have to be tough with a smile on his face. He's going to have to appear to be a very friendly man, but he has to be tough because he's, he's still talking to an audience back here. An audience increasingly divided along a widening economic fault line. The economy is slowing and political and social unrest growing. While China and the U.S. square off, Chinese are eyeing each other. On one side, Crystal Wong and China's elites. On the other, Xie Yingling and the hundreds of millions more like him. In the eyes of many in China, the rich just get richer. The poor get the picture. Stan Grant, CNN, Fujian Province, China.